Hi, I'm Nicole Simmons, SIA's Associate Director of Leadership and Volunteer Engagement. Today, I'm here with our 2021-2022 President, Kazuko Morita. Welcome, Kazuko, and thank you for joining us today. Hi, Nicole. Thank you for inviting me. Sure, we want to take this opportunity opportunity to get to know you and hear what your goals are during your year as president. We'll uh, talk some business first and then we'll have some fun at the end. Okay. So since joining in 1985, you have served as district director, club president, mm -hmm. vice president, and secretary. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about what attracted you to our organization. By being a member of this organization, I am able to carry out my dreams of mission. And at the same time, I'm able to meet so many fantastic leaders and fascinating people all over the world. As a matter of fact, it took me a few years to get really involved into my soft world. However, I have been so lucky that SIA Biennial Convention was held in Kyoto in 1990. At the time, I was a member as an optimist for only five years. I had a great opportunity to help as volunteer. At the time, I had an honor to meet quite a few leaders of our organization and learn so much about our mission. So what has been your favorite leadership position? Uh, that's a tough question. Every leadership position I have experienced so far became my favorite one. But one of the best thing about working as a leader is that you get to work with people with a different talent, which I can withdraw from them and create and invent new forms of human relationships as a team, which is a fun. And one of my favorite leadership position, however, was a district director, because I met just about every one of members and share our soft Mr. Why, which attracted me so much. Great. Now, you are a uh, national licensed pharmacist uh -huh. and graduated from the Kyoto Pharmaceutical University in Kyoto, Japan. So what aspects of your professional career will help you in your role now as president? As a female pharmacist, I have always been aware of the need to improve the status of women and girls in all aspects in my life. And I have had many opportunities to align myself with the Soptimist mission to improve the status and accomplish the independency of women and girls through education and training. Having lived my life with this awareness as a pharmacist, I have a pride in my work to engage in people, especially women's independence, their health, and I want to give back or pay back this sense of fulfillment and happiness in the forms of service in Optimist leader as a president this time. Great, well, you know, now more than ever, the women and girls we serve, they need us to dream big, and to reinvent and reimagine how we serve our communities. So how do you plan to support them as president? Yes, more than ever, as you said, women and girls need us and our service now. But we know in the challenging time when face-to-face -face activities are so limited and social distances are required, what I would recommend our clubs is to utilize 
our advanced technology devices to your community networks to spread the word about our organization as much as possible. This is the best and the most efficient way in this challenging time, I think. I recommend you to enjoy an advantage of this particular time because you are able to have any joint meetings, for instance, with Dream It Be It worldwide via Zoom or hosting line, etc. Right, just as we are right now. Right, <laughs> exactly. Um, so what are your goals as president? I know I never reached the goal in my life yet because it's endless. But yes, I have so many goals and or hopes. As we all are aware of our goals are always set by our members stakeholders, SIA board of directors with knowledge-based decision with the support of SIA staff. Our goal is to steadily implement the plans that have been developed by the past and present board. And what I need to do, or like you said, my goal as president is to pass the button with smooth transition to the next relevant members and leaders. 2021, the very first action is to take a big one step forward in launching Dream Big campaign to invest in the dreams of half a million of women and girls through access to education and training. They need to achieve economic empowerment and invest in so optimist organization to enable us to achieve the next big goal of a big dream programs in the first decade of our next century. My goal is to get us off to a smooth start and to get as many of our members and stakeholders on board as possible. I will try my best to accomplish our members, leaders, board with staff working together to pursue our mission strategically. I would be so happy if I, we are able to take hands in hands and send our happy messages and smiles to our all SIA members to celebrate the success of our first year for our big goal. Yes, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. Yes, I do too. Now, uh, you have the unique opportunity to serve as the president during our 100th anniversary. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean to you? Well, to be a centennial president is not a decision I could have ever done it by myself, of course not. In this case, we say in our country, chance encounters are called super, super special given gift or fate even. Since Optimist around the world has been working toward the women's equality for 100 years now, yet, we were struggling toward an accomplishment. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to all of you who have entrusted me with the responsibility of serving as your president during our 100th anniversary. So I even feel a great responsibility to pass again on the button to next president and beyond to continue this organization to accomplish our missions to provide women and girls with access to the education and training they need to achieve economic empowerment. I really hope. Great. And then as we look to the next 100 years, uh -huh. 
what are your dreams for the next generation of Seroptimists? Well, I dream of making a gap between the next generation of Seroptimists and the women and girls who need us is little smaller, became smaller. I believe that the world will become more and more internet centric in the future. But I hope that next generation of optimists will be able to connect directly with many members and build wonderful human relationships, no matter how mechanized the world becomes. Hopefully the internet will allow next generation optimists to work together in a shrinking world and I hope they will contribute to the realization of the sustainable world. Wonderful, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so now we want to get to know you a little bit more outside of your Seroptimist involvement. <laughs> I'm going to ask you several questions. We're going to see how many we can answer in the next few minutes. So are you ready? Yes, I think so. Uh, what is one word to describe yourself? Oh, I'm optimistic and always positive way of thinking I have. And what is something you've always wanted to do but haven't checked off your bucket list? Oh, yes. Uh, one of them is a reading book somewhere in seaside or mountainside. Nice. That sounds lovely. <laughs> How about um, your favorite food? Sushi and American beef steak. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and how about your favorite book? Uh, get a poem. I've been reading uh, his poem since I was a rather little girl. <laughs> and who is your hero? Uh, my mother, among many. And if you could live anywhere, where would it be? Maybe Kyoto, again. <laughs> and how about any hobbies? Do you have a hobby? Yes, I have so many hobbies, but uh, maybe the best is playing golf. And how about um, a favorite place that you've traveled to? Oh, well, uh, I've been traveling all over us, but now, wherever all my friends are, but wherever my <laughs> friends are, I would love to visit. And how about your dream for women and girls? What is that? Been, oh, yes, thank you. It's uh, their independence. And finally, how about what is your favorite movie? Uh, I haven't seen many movies recently, but any kind, but with happy ending movies, I love. Very good. <laughs> well, that's all the questions that we have today. So I want to thank you for spending some time with me and for sharing your thoughts and plans for your year as our president. Oh, thank you, Nicole giving me such a great opportunity to introduce myself. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.